What's up everybody? So back at the lake, at the lake I was at when I just caught thir it was over 30 fish. Over 30 bass yesterday. Absolutely insane. My best day for numbers. Largest was two pounds, nine ounces. Um, I, I was catching them so fast I wasn't really looking at the camera. Plus I had a friend with me and um, I had to help him out a lot. He uh, doesn't fish like at all. So he was getting hung up a lot. So is what it is. But today out here by myself, we're gonna try to beat the storms. There's some pretty bad storms heading in, um, probably around one to three o'clock. And I'm gonna head up to where I was yesterday and just start from there. small fish there guys look at that guys on a Guggen squad popping frog it's like it's April 24th we've had two days of 80 degree weather we got a cold front coming in and um it's actually dropping down into the 30s and it might snow the next two days i got my line wrapped down around a little teeny branch went ahead retied and actually i put on a bandito bug green pumpkin purple color and i took off my pegged weight I didn't really think it was doing anything for uh, what I'm doing. That's a fish. On the old Texas rig, Bendito bug. Just a little guy. Got him, guys. That's a nice fish. Took me a few tries to get my bait back in there, but we got him.
are just stacked on this tree. Guggenbait's bandito bug. Uh, green pumpkin, purple. They're smacking them, guys. I'm not sure why, but I'm just destroying them on this tree. Wind's starting to blow a little bit harder. Uh, I'm gonna have to check on the storms. Also, some local informed me that when the waves get too big, you can't get back under the bridge to go south because there's only, you know, I hardly clear with my bass boat. So, gotta keep an eye out for that. Fish just went for a little ride, huh? They are just hammering this bandito bug. I'm trying to get a little more use out of this. That's a better fish. like about 3 30 i have to be off the water like already off the water because there's going to be some really bad storms coming in oh my god and there's a fish blew up my reel i got a fish well then that's a good issue to have i guess Needle bugs slaying them. Well, that's one way to get rid of a one-pounder. 
My bait still might be good too. Feels good. That was a one pounder. Didn't even get the hook out of the bait. Um, hardly made it under that bridge. That was pretty crazy. There was pro there were probably two footers rolling under there And I had a little clearance. Sorry about the wind. Nothing I can do about it by the way, obviously um, yeah, It was gusting about 35 so I decided to get out of here um, the ride back Honestly, this boat handles so well Stratos 295 Pro Elite just Cuts right through all the waves skips over them. It was not a big deal like I was going over one one footers or so the whole time um it's always hard to see on camera because i have a super view so everything looks different but it's about one footers on the way in um until i got near uh the launch where it's a little bit more protected so it wasn't a big deal two footers on the other side of the lake not a big deal um caught 12 i believe 12 fish today all one pound to two and a half pounds um Flipping, as you've seen, frogs, which blows my mind. A uh, friend tipped me off on the frog bite, and I was like, all right, I'll go try it. So I hit him with frogs. Um, that seemed to be the early morning bite. And then once the sun got up, that kind of died. I didn't even really throw it that much after that. I was just on the Texas rig program, as you've seen. 3 16th ounce weight, bandito bug, four hot hook. Um, Anyways, there is literally 50 plus mile an hour wind this way. Hail and thunderstorms. I mean, by now it's probably like 45 minutes away. So I'm going to try to get as close to the tunnel as I can. And I'm going to have to fuel up the boat because I'm doing a trip. Should be Thursday, um, depending on the weather. It's supposed to snow like Wednesday. So I'm supposed to go down to Indian Lake on Thursday and I'm going to practice for my first BFL. Um, that's on May 21st, so it's going to be about 20 days or so. And I'm just going to go out there and find some spots. And um, we keep saying and, I hate that. Okay, so I'm going to go find some spots out on Indian the first day. Do a little bit of fishing and then the second day we're going to cover it. 
I'm just gonna more than likely catch as many fish as I can on the second day. So, all right, if you like today's video, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, tell your friends, get something new in fishing, and I will see you later.